Hello everyone, this is Miguel. I am a personal growth strategist and the host of the podcast Strategy Rewind. I'm really excited that you would be connected here today as we are talking about cultivating gratitude. We are live on the Wisdom application, of course, in the month of February. All the conversations we have on the Wisdom application, they become part of the Strategy Rewind podcast. So anyone listening on the Strategy Rewind podcast, please go ahead and download the Wisdom application, become part of the conversation. And there's so much great value within the Wisdom application. And of course, anyone connecting here today, joining the group on the Wisdom app, feel free at any given moment to click on the button and become a guest. We're talking about cultivating gratitude. Listen, I believe there's a relationship between faith and hope. I believe there's a relationship between faith and hope. And to me, faith looks towards the past. And it reminds us of the moments of providence that we've experienced the moments of breakthrough, the moments of blessing, the moments where we didn't think we were going to make it, but we did. The moments where we didn't think we'd be okay, but we were. The moments we didn't think things would work out, but they did work out to our favor. And faith, to me, does that. There is, however, the other part, which is hope. Hope works this way. It reminds you of the future. So where faith tells you, you have experienced breakthrough before, hope says, and you can see it again, right? Where faith tells you you've seen providence before, hope says, and you'll see it again. Where faith says you've accomplished certain successes and seen great things before, hope says, and you'll see it again. Of course, an individual who doesn't think that in the future there are great things to be experienced is an individual who is then feeling hopeless. It's an individual who doesn't think or see that in the future they will experience something greater. So that's the difference between faith that looks towards the past and hope that looks towards the future. But I believe that in the intersection of faith and hope lives gratitude. Indeed, in most common situations, it may feel difficulty. Well, we may encounter difficulty to feel gratitude. If you just found out that a loved one is sick and that may not have long time to live, it's It's difficult to find gratitude in that moment, but we we should challenge ourselves to be grateful for the time that we've had them. Of course, if, if you find out that your employer for some reason or another may be going out of business and because of this, you, you won't have a job. It's difficult to be able to find in that moment, something to be grateful about, but we should challenge ourselves to at least be grateful that we'll, we'll have one more check, one more opportunity, one more moment to get things put together. Cultivating gratitude requires understanding that an answered prayer in your life is something that someone else is still waiting for. This is cultivating gratitude, right? And in the intersection of faith and hope lives gratitude. Indeed, it doesn't matter what blessing you have had or haven't obtained The truth is, we need gratitude. We need to be grateful for the things that we do have. Grateful for the things that we've been able to accomplish. And I was talking to my wife yesterday and last night we were just talking and and she, in this moment of conversation said, "We, we have a good life, she said. You know, we have three daughters who are healthy. We have three daughters who are very smart, very intelligent, very witty young girls. And we have, you know, uh, we we have a home that we own. We have been able to, over the past years, make smart decisions financially. And so we we have less debt than ever. And of course, we, we have our health and we have our marriage that is consistently getting stronger. So, you know, we were just taking a moment to think about Really, we've got a good life. And this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the thing, my friends. 
Cultivating gratitude requires understanding that an answered prayer in your life is something that someone else is still waiting for. My wife and I prayed to have children many years ago, something the doctor said was impossible. Today, today we can enjoy the blessing of having three daughters. Knowing some people are still waiting for their miracle elevates me to believe that they too will experience it. And it also elevates me to understand and appreciate what a massive blessing it is. It causes gratitude in my life. It brings me to elevate a prayer even more so because I know that there are still people waiting for their prayer to be answered. So where faith remains, so too hope remains. And gratitude has to be tied to that. See, faith reminds us of those blessings we've had, those moments of providence, those moments of breakthrough, those moments of success. Gratitude reminds us that we are still having prayers that are being answered. And with hope, hope keeps us moving forward knowing that those prayers will continue to be answered. I wanted to converse with you here today because as we move out of the first 50 days of the year, as February comes to a close, statistically, it is in the month of March where many individuals lose track of their goals. And we, we may feel as though we've failed, as though we'll never accomplish anything. And maybe, maybe this year didn't start off the way you wanted it to start off. Maybe you still haven't been able to hit the gas pedal and throw it into gear and, and actually get things going. Maybe you still haven't captured momentum. I just want to encourage you to, to in this moment, just if you can, just begin to list out things that you do have, things that you have been blessed with the ability to be connected through this platform, the ability to hear, the ability to see, the ability to touch, taste. You know, I had a friend of mine who, during the COVID era, he had COVID and it was before the Christmas season. And he is an individual who is part of the Latin community. So one of the things you ought to know about you know, us Latinos, it's that Christmas is a massive celebration and Christmas doesn't last one day. It'll, it'll, it'll take you all the way to the end of the year and then it'll take you to January 7th or so because we celebrate three kings, los tres reyes. So you have, you have Navidades, you have Año Bueno, Año Nuevo, you, and you have, right, so it just keeps going. So there's a lot of food, a lot of festivity, a lot of love in the air. And it was around that time that he thought, hey, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm no longer having the symptoms of COVID. Maybe I'll still be able to celebrate with my family. Well, here's one thing that happened. He lost his sense of taste. And he also lost his sense of smell when he got COVID. So when the holiday season came around, he still couldn't taste the food. Oh, he could see everything and all the dishes and pastries and all the meals, and he could see the joy in everyone's eyes, and he could feel the joy in the room, and he could feel the love, but he had not regained his sense of taste nor smell. And his wife would buy his favorite perfume, and she would put it on and say, can you smell it? Can you smell it? And he could not smell the perfume. And to this day, has not yet been able to regain his ability to smell or taste. I hope this brings perspective that so often we, we diminish our gifts, our values, we, we diminish the talents we have. Just think that the talents and the abilities you have, the blessings you have in your life, is something someone else is praying for. Just think that the things you have been able to accomplish is something that someone could only dream about accomplishing. 
So as you're navigating on this day, as you engage in this day, begin to cultivate gratitude because gratitude lives in between faith and hope. And maybe you think about your past and you think about only the negative experiences. It's time to understand that even in those messes, there was always a message. And maybe you think about the future and you only think about difficulty and obstacles, but it's time to understand that in those obstacles, there are opportunities. But understand that the way that faith and hope works is what's in the center, and that's gratitude. Cultivating gratitude is a muscle. It requires intention that you would decide, I'm going to be grateful because at least I have electricity, a working phone, because at least at least I have people that I can communicate with. At least I have loved ones. At least I know what it is to face pain. Now I can distinguish pain from joy. At least I know what it is to be sick. I can distinguish health from sickness. Cultivating gratitude is one of the most powerful things you can determine to do. And I encourage you to do so. And in the process of doing so, you'll notice that your faith will increase, your hope will increase, and so too will your motivation to see and experience greater things.